just vlogged in the park and people were watching me and I was vlogging about my nipples. People are staring at me. But I'm doing it for the sake of authenticity and being okay with being crazy. They were just watching me. Let's see if they watch. Oh yeah, she's watching. Super. The choice to not bring water was a mistake. A big, big mistake. So sometimes, well, all the time, I don't wear a bra unless I'm working out. So I don't wear a bra most of the time, or all the time. By choice, I have the luxury of doing it. You can actually see my nipples. There is a breeze. My body sometimes gets goosebumps. Sometimes those goosebumps travel to my breasts and get cold nipples too. For some reason, if mine are exposed under a shirt, not even like shown, it's a huge deal. And I understand it is because it hasn't been a thing for very long in like Western society, but I'm kind of over that. And it's about time that we dress the way we want to as women and men. Men should be able to dress too. Like, Pink still has a stigma as much as like we're really really breaking bounds bounds boundaries with pink It's a color Let's get over it. It's beautiful. Everyone should be wearing it <laughs> So yeah, so anyways in Toronto you actually can go topless um, No bra you can show your boobs you can show your sad boob you can show your under show all the boobs including nipples and I've seen women doing it and it's very rare and I think I've seen like three in my entire life one was biking and I was like kudos to you woman or who, however you identify because you're fucking being yourself and you're letting it free there's a bike butter stop eating shit stop, stop, stop. maybe sit with me for a minute Men are allowed to take their shirts off all the time and like yeah if someone has like a big belly or they're like you know overweight it's like oh that guy's overweight which shouldn't be something that people do anyways because the body we come in is irrelevant it's uh it's all about the soul people are laughing at me it's a big problem that my shirt is on and my nipples are apparent you can tell where they are you can tell what shape they are tell whatever the fuck they're doing. I don't look at men's nipples in that way. Yeah. Uh, are people staring? Let's see. Oh, I can't really zoom in. <laughs> Go watch Amelia fart. She inspired me to film in public. Oh my god, it's so bright. I think the reason a lot of women don't go topless in Toronto with having the ability to do that is because they know that they're gonna get stared at, they're gonna get comments, and they're gonna just be sexually harassed by men, potentially women. Um, I mean, I know that women get told by other women to cover up when they're breastfeeding, even though it's just sort of like your baby's hungry, so you're gonna feed your baby, um, and it's a baby. And boobs are like one of the functions is that which is pretty awesome considering like my body can feed a baby I think women just don't want to be harassed all the time which is why we change our behavior and that's not okay we need to have people recognize that when we're being made to feel uncomfortable that's not okay or even people who are trans gay like fat 
that like we're all just being attacked you know and me with mental illness like right now I, I probably look crazy or they're probably just like who does this bitch think she is like some YouTube star yeah <laughs> I just want to wear what I want. I want to be like comfortable and I am. I am comfortable. Other people aren't comfortable. And yes, I can't control other people and if they're going to be comfortable around me, but I can inform them that when they do certain behaviors, it makes me feel very uncomfortable and it's not justified um, to cause suffering in any kind of way. So. And it is suffering, it's oppression, and it's like a different kind of oppression that happens here on this side of the planet, but it's still happening. So I've started to look at, you know, the male perspective to understand maybe what they're kind of experiencing with this whole influx and change of, of powerful, confident women that are coming about into this world that, you know, don't shave their underarms or they do and they do sometimes and they do when they want to and sometimes they wear tank tops or sleeveless things um, and lift their arms up like right now who knows my situation because I just do it as I please it might be shaved it might not be it might be like in the middle who cares like really who cares like who cares get real who cares what my armpit hair is doing what are you eating showing of any kind of like skin or like body hair that wouldn't normally be there would be covered it just like it it really freaks them out wants to be on camera so cute Everybody's a tourist around here. Maybe they think I'm a tourist that vlogs and I get paid to vlog and get sent around to cool places. That'd be nice. <laughs> Water is critical for life. Because I thought I'd be fine. I'm parched. But that is suffering. <laughs> I do see a lot of women in Toronto though um, going without bras. Women with large breasts, small breasts, who the fuck cares, uneven breasts, one removed, two removed, doesn't matter. I think we all just want to be treated with respect. And know that we're lovable even though we have done hurtful things, caused suffering on others in the past. Um, have like secrets that we feel shameful about and other people don't really seem to understand or get but everyone has secrets everybody has something that they feel like I don't want to go there in my head and sometimes we don't even know that we've blocked something out and that it's so upsetting and painful to us we sometimes don't know what we don't know and that's the subconscious or unconscious um, that we're not aware of which is stuff that we all have so we don't really we don't need to be ashamed of that and i know that because of my channel and connecting with people and knowing that we're not alone we do have to learn to love ourselves but we aren't alone and i think some people get it so i can't abandon myself and i'm worthy of recovery i'm worthy of respect no matter how crazy i am which is just part of me and when I get to be me I get to create I get to you know show my freedom that I do feel that I've held captive within me for so long because I'm like I'm so weird I'm so free I don't care about what other people think but I also like want to affect people in positive ways at the same time you know and there there's always going to be conflicting parts of us parts that are like I'm a good person, but like deep down, like there's part of me that feels like a bad person. How can I live with that? And that's our, our journey, I think is, I always say that, <laughs> but like part of our journey is to 
you know, figure out and realize that we're gonna have like parts of us that feel that feel contradictory um, or opposing, or like they cannot possibly <laughs> exist uh, in the same reality, but they can. I can be, you know, very feminine. I can be very masculine. I can be very outgoing and I can be very, very reserved. I am all of those things. I think we all are all those things. I think we're all like diamonds that are multifaceted and, you know, like carved diamonds with all the different sparkling sides and that's us. And I think that we're, look at my hands. Can we just like take a moment to appreciate the little hands? There's a lot of progression happening and there's no real anger towards, you know, men or society. I think we're human and we're flawed and we're fallible and we're meant to make mistakes. And that's okay. This sun is not sun for filming. I think that's why people do like when it's early morning or uh, late afternoon. But we're all learning. Yeah. We're all learning, always. Check out Amelia Fart, she inspires me a lot. Anyways, like and subscribe and I got people watching me which is cool because I'm famous now. Like, subscribe and comment and I'm not sorry as ever. So we got a friendship happening. Hi Muffin. We got a friend saying bye with us. Oop. Bye. Love you guys. See you soon. Oh shit, you can still see me. Okay. Not sorry. Love Lori. <laughs>